Hello again, friends. It's me, Miss Christina. I'm here to share another story with you. Today I'm sharing a story that was my favorite when I was a kid. Back when I was three or four, my little brother, who was one year younger than me, had a favorite picture book that our aunt would read to us when we would visit her. We would go over for dinner to my grandparents' house and we would eat some yummy Italian food usually. And after dinner, we would eat butter cookies and we'd sit on our aunt's lap and she would read us The Little Engine That Could. And she read this book to us so many times that we knew all the words. So we would read it along with her. So I wanna share it with you today. It's a story about a train and many different types of engines and what happens to um, some toys and food for little girls and boys. So I hope you enjoy it. Today's story is called The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper. My book is old and it's falling apart. Here we go. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for little boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy, eng toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for little boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. Whoops. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then, all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. Oh, no. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and all the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. What do you think will happen? Will the shiny new engine help them? Let's keep reading to find out. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you, said the, said the shiny new engine. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. Indeed not. He said no. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out. The passenger engine is not the only train in the world. <laughs> My book is falling apart. Yikes. Here is another 
engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. What do you think will happen? Will the big strong engine help them? Let's find out. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed. He had a deep voice. I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. The big strong engine didn't help either. The little train and all the dolls and toys were so sad. Cheer up, said the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and all the boys and girls on the other side of the mountain won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. Oh, I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed, the train was very, very sad and all the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here is another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. But maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug, chug, chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. Do you think she'll help? Let's find out. What's the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and all the good girls and boys on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can. Can you help her say that? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last she reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, called all the fun called the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in this city will be happy because you helped us, little kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought 
thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. She did it. The end. That's our story for today, friends. Thanks for joining me again. I'll see you next time. Bye.